I better be careful Cause the way you're looking at me Looks a lot like love, love Kiss me with your eyes And you hold me in your thoughts So nice, locked in Like a picture we're frozen Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing My August Favorites video And who was late on their August Favorites this month? Me! So I'm very sorry that this video is going up a little bit late. Normally I post my favorites videos at the beginning of the month and it's already the middle of September. But I decided, you know what, I'm going to post it anyways because you guys really want to see it. I got a lot of requests to do my August favorites. And I discovered some pretty awesome products in August that I really just wanted to show you guys. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do my August favorites anyways. And if you posted an August favorites video, leave it as a video response below. Or you can just like leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite things for August were. So let's go ahead and get into my favorites. Okay, so my first favorite for August has been this eyeshadow palette. It's by L'Oreal and it's in the shade Autumn Leaves. And when I look at this palette, I literally just think like the fall time because all the colors are really like fall-ish, if that makes sense. So there's like a cream color and then like a peachy color and then a cool like red bronze color and then a brown. And I just think they are so gorgeous. So I've been wearing the colors in this palette a lot lately because I love the fall time and it's just like having fall on my eyes. I mean, what's better than that? So I've been using this a lot. Next favorite for August, I've actually been using my Maybelline one by one mascara again. I was obsessed with the Maybelline falsies for a long time and I still love that one, but I recently have been using one by one again. I started using this one like way, way long ago and then I stopped and now it is my baby again. And honestly, I don't know why I stopped using it because it's such an awesome mascara because what I like about it is it doesn't like clump your lashes together. It's like one by one. It kind of like separates them while still like making them long and full. My next favorite for August is a blush and oh my gosh, you guys, I bought this blush like probably probably a year and a half ago or two years ago and I recently started using it again because it's a nice like bright pink color but it doesn't look that bright on your cheeks. I remember when I first got it I was like whoa there that is way too bright but lately I've just been applying a little bit to my cheeks and blending it up and it just gives me like this nice like bright color because I don't really wear dramatic eyeshadow that much and normally I don't really wear like bold lip colors either so I think it's fun if you just use like a bright blush on your cheeks and it kind of just makes you look more fresh I think. Okay next favorite for August I have two nail polishes. The first one I'm wearing it right now and it is so beautiful and I'm so glad that I found it. It's by Maybelline and BTW these nail polishes that Maybelline came out with they're the color show nail lacquers. The quality of these in my opinion is so so incredible and I've been using it more than like my OPI or SC nail polishes. I just really like the formula. It like glides on. It's really nice and creamy and it lasts a long time. It doesn't get like sticky or chunky and this color it's in the shade green with M and it's like a mint green. It's kind of starting to chip now just because I had it on my nails for a while but it has lasted a long time and I love the color. So I totally recommend checking out these nail colors especially if you like mint greens then this is a really awesome one to get. And then my next favorite nail polish for August is Head Mistress by Essie. I've really been into like kind of dark like wine colored red nail polishes. I don't know why. I think it's just like the fall time and I'm really loving like all the dark nail colors. So I really like this color. It kind of reminds me of like a vampire or something. I don't know why. It just does. See, I've been loving those two nail polishes for August and okay, oh my gosh. Ah, this is probably the most amazing thing in this favorites video. I love this and I put it in the packaging just so you guys could see what it looks like when you buy it, but I have used it. It is the EOS Alice in Wonderland Lip Balms. What? Are you kidding me? Alice in Wonderland EOS Lip Balms. That is crazy crazy. It's insane. And when I saw these at Target, I literally flipped out. I was like, Mom, I have to get these. So I got one for me and I got one for my sister also. They're Sweet Vanilla Nonsense, Watermelon Wonderland, and Blueberry Potion. And I just think they're so cute and they smell amazing. My favorite one right now is Vanilla Nonsense because I love vanilla. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh no. So I've been carrying these in my purse and like putting them on all the time because I'm just obsessed with them. Okay, next favorite is my Cargo Blu-ray High Definition Pressed Powder. So you guys know that I was obsessed with this powder a while back and then I started using my Rimmel Stay Matte, which I promise you guys, I still love that one and I think it's an awesome alternative for like a high-end powder because it's very inexpensive and great quality. But my Cargo one, I actually stopped using it because it like totally broke. Like the mirror broke and then these two parts, like right here, these were like 
separated, but I still used it. And then like a big chunk of the powder broke out when I dropped it. It was like breaking in every way possible and I was still using it. And then one day it just like vanished. So I think that was like a sign that I needed to get a new powder. I just like set my foundation or concealer with this and it's just a nice smooth powder. It doesn't break me out, which is awesome. And it's just really great quality. So I've been using this powder lately. Okay, and my last two beauty favorites for August have been... Oh yeah, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin by Bath and Body Works. Do not even get me started on this, you guys. This is like the best fall scent from Bath and Body Works right now. I smelt like all the different body gels that they had for fall, and this one was my favorite, which is kind of weird because I'm not a big fan of like pumpkin scents, but something about this one is so yummy to me. I really wanted the body spray and I like went to the lady at the counter and I was like do you guys have the body spray because I didn't see it and she saw no we sold out and I was like mm. so I've just been using the body gel and the body lotion and whenever I see that body spray I'm getting it. That's it for the beauty favorites and now it is time for the non-beauty favorites, the random stuff. So first one are these Kit Kat Halloween candy bars. I'm obsessed with Kit Kats in general and every year I always look forward to these because they're like orange. So I'll like open one up for you guys. They have little bats on them. They're like orange Kit Kats which is pretty sweet if you ask me. So I really like these. That's just a random favorite but I'm a sucker when it comes to like Halloween themed food which is really weird. And speaking of that, these are pretty amazing amazing pumpkin cheese balls uh yes I got them at Target and like everyone eats them like everyone in my family will just like get some of these if they want a snack because it's Halloween cheese balls that's so cute next favorite is this candle by Bath and Body Works in pumpkin caramel latte it smells so delicious so amazing and once again I'm not a fan of pumpkin stuff but this just smells so good it's just a very comforting scent for the fall so this is just one of those scents that I really like to burn like if I'm just relaxing in my room one day and I just want something that kind of reminds me of the fall time so if you go to Bath and Body Works you should smell this and let me know what you think about it and also speaking of Bath and Body Works candles let me know what your favorite one is below because I really want to try some more because I'm really into like candles for like fall and winter Next on Beauty Favorite has been just like random graphic sweaters. So you guys know, you already saw this one, my Cinderella sweater from Forever 21. I love this. I wear it all the time. And this one is from Brandy Melville. It has like little skulls all over it. It's so comfy. And I just got this one from Forever 21 and it says Heartless. And I know that's kind of mean. I did not get it because of what it says. I just really like the colors. But yeah, just overall like kind of cozy printed like sweaters and jumpers I've been obsessed with. I have so many different ones and of course lots of mustache ones. Okay, my last favorite thing for August is like the most amazing thing ever. It is like my best friend and I just have to show it to you guys. Are you guys ready for this? Ah, how cute is he? This is my little owl and his name is Leo and I got him from Urban Outfitters and literally I was on the website and I was like looking through all their like toys and like their random stuff and I saw him and I was like oh, he is the cutest thing I've ever laid my eyes on. I have to get him, and he's going to be like my little pet, my little pal. I just think that he is so adorable, and he's actually a piggy bank. Yeah, so I don't even know if I'm going to put change in him. He has, like, no money in him, but I really just wanted him because I thought he was, like, a cute little decoration for my room, and he's just the most innocent-looking owl. Like, look how innocent he looks. I just love him. I kind of wish he was real, like... How cool would that be to have like a pet owl, you know? So yeah, those are all of my non-beauty favorites for August. And of course, it is time to tell you guys favorite songs of the month. I have my phone right here. And yes, I got a new case. Finally, I had the bunny one for a long time, but I wanted to get this Hello Kitty one. Okay, time to get my favorite song. Okay, so my first favorite song for August was Marilyn Monroe by Nicki Minaj. OMG, that song is so amazing. I'll have a link to it below just in case you didn't hear it. I was kind of late on it, like I just discovered it in August, and I think it came out like way before that, but it is such a good song, and I literally still have it on repeat because I love it to death. And then, of course, I've been loving We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. <gasps> so amazing. Oh, and one more of my favorite songs is Somewhere Only We Know. I'm not sure who sings it, but I will have a link to it below. I heard it in a movie that I watched. I think it was LOL with Miley Cyrus. And after that, I downloaded that song, and I listen to it all the time. It's, like, such kind of, like, a nice, relaxing song. So I will have links to all three songs down below because I can never pick one. Anyways, that is it for this August Favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and lots more videos are coming up. So so stay tuned and if you have any video requests of videos that you want to see this month then leave that down below and I will make sure to check that out and I think that's about it so I will talk to you guys in my next video thank you for watching I love you and yeah bye say bye to Leo deuces
scent watermelon oh that's not watermelon wonderland that's the blue one bethany watermelon wonderland and then ah, oh, wonderland and then what is this they're sweet my ah, it went under my dresser i don't want to get it Gundam style. I cannot do that dance for the life of me. Like, if anyone wants to teach it to me, then you should teach me because I'm not very good. Some type of weird galloping thing and this weird arm movement, and I just don't get it. So I need to practice that. So maybe, maybe I'll practice it. I was super sick, and I think I'm sounding a little bit better now. You know, I don't sound like a tiger or a cat. Like, literally, a week ago, I sounded like, rawr, rawr. I can't reenact it right So now. I may or may have not gotten in the Christmas spirit a little bit early. As you guys can tell, I got some Christmas decorations going on behind me because, okay, I took all of my Halloween and fall decorations down out of my room because Halloween is over, and I just decided that my room looked really sad and really plain, so I was like, you know what, let's just go with it. I'm just going to start decorating for Christmas now, so I have a few or a little bit more than a few Christmas decorations up right now, and I know it is a little early, I am aware, but... This is just to get us excited and in the Christmas spirit because Christmas is literally next month. I mean, that's blowing my mind. So if you guys want to start decorating right now, then send me pictures. And if you guys want to see more Christmas decorations as I continue to decorate my room, I could do more videos on that. But today I'm doing my October favorites because October is officially over. So it's time for me to show you guys what I've been loving. Oh, and by the way, if you were wondering, this spot right here, I actually just burned myself with a curling iron right before this. So... That's a curling iron burn, nothing else. Just burn my flesh, no big deal. Okay, so the first thing that I have been loving for October is these makeup wipes. I actually got these at Sephora because I was in need of makeup wipes and I just asked the lady, I was like, do you have any makeup wipes for me to buy because I cannot find any in this store? And she was like, these. And I was like, okay. So they are the Josie Moran Bare Naked Makeup Wipes. And let me just tell you guys, these are by far some of the best makeup wipes I've ever used. Now the cool thing about these makeup wipes is when you buy a pack of these, a portion of the sales go to the foundation for protecting the polar bears which I think is so cool so that's definitely a great thing about these is you're helping out the polar bears and you're getting some nice makeup wipes and honestly one of these wipes removes all of my makeup I never have to grab a second one which I've had to with other ones so I love these and I definitely recommend them if you're looking for some good makeup wipes Next thing I've been using like crazy is this Dior Skin Air Flash Spray Foundation. Now this is another product that's kind of on the pricier side, but honestly, I'm so glad that I invested in this product. Sometimes I forget to put the cap back on my liquid foundation that didn't have a spray and it'd get bacteria, cause me to break out. So this has helped my skin so much. Just having a foundation that is really enclosed in a can that no bacteria can get into it. They also sell spray foundations like this at the drugstore, so I just have been loving this one. It looks amazing. It feels super light on my my skin and I love it although it does kind of smell like an inhaler or something next up my Revlon color stay pressed powder and this is actually a translucent powder because normally I get like the colored powders that are like medium or light medium deep all that stuff but this one is a powder that basically no matter what skin tone you are you can use it because it's kind of like a colorless powder I guess so I have been loving this to set my foundation and my concealer best powder I've ever used Mwah. And for my cheeks, recently I've been using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. This is in the shade, oh my gosh, the tag is like destroyed in the back, but it just says plum. That's the only thing I can read, it says plum, and it looks like this. So it is just like a plummy pink color. It's really pretty for the fall and winter time, so I just get my blush brush dusted on my cheeks. Flawless. And for my lips, I've been using this product that I recently discovered from Maybelline. And okay, it looks like a lipstick. There's clear packaging and it looks just like a lipstick, but you twist this. What? So it's actually a kind of like a liquid lipstick in my opinion. It reminds me of a lip gloss, but also a lipstick slash lip balm at the same time. And oh my goodness, these things are amazing. They have a bunch of colors. I'm wearing one right now. And they're just really smooth on your lips. They're super moisturizing. They don't dry out your lips and they smell absolutely amazing. Ah, they smell like sugar and 
marshmallows and happiness and love like I don't know they just they smell really good so yeah I've been loving these and just throwing these in my bag because they are awesome I discovered this product recently and I just love how it makes my lashes look it's the lash out butterfly and this is from I think it's from L'Oreal so the wand on this is super cool I don't know if you guys can tell but it's like going all crazy and there's like all these different size bristles on it it's pretty insane and whenever I put this on my lashes it just gives them this really unique look that no mascara has ever given my lashes it separates them and it makes them super long and luscious so I totally recommend checking out the butterfly mascara from L'Oreal okay and there's a body product I've been using recently that has been making my skin smell so good it is the Olay silky berry cleansing body wash and can we just talk about how big this container is I mean look at it compared to my head it is huge it's ginormous so I really love this body wash because number one it smells so good it's like berries and sugar and it's very smooth on my skin so I just take my big old loofah and I just drench it in this and I just wash my whole body with it I don't know why I just described that to you guys because I'm sure you guys know how to use body wash I kind of like it better than a lot of my Bath and Body Works body washes I don't know what it is this one just moisturizes my skin and it makes my skin feel like a baby's bottom when I get out of the shower so been loving that Favorite nail polish for the month of October has been this color that I'm actually wearing on my nails right now. It's by China Glaze, and it is in the shade Perfect Plum. It is just a creamy, purpley plum color, and this is one of my favorite colors to wear for the fall and winter time. I like that there's no glitter or shimmer. It's just like a fairy pure and creamy looking so I have been wearing this a lot and repainting my nails with this color a lot and it is like my favorite color to wear on my nails right now next favorite has been these boots I got these at H&M like I think like two months ago and I love them to death so what I really like about these is they have fur inside and it's like you're just walking around with this furry blanket that's just covering your feet and making them so comfy and also I think they're pretty fashionable on the outside they're just like worker boots and I've been wearing these basically with everything jeans skirts dresses all that kind of stuff I've definitely been getting my money out of these and I totally recommend picking up a pair if you find them at H&M they are like all I've been wearing lately seriously I wore them to a haunted house on Halloween and I wore them in the hay and in a forest and they were very trustworthy. These are like my babies. They've been through a lot. The Goldfish Grams Hot Cocoa. And when I first saw this, I was like, wait, hot chocolate goldfish? What? Until I figured out that they're basically just graham crackers that taste like hot chocolate. Mm. I think her name is Coral. That's what it says. Coral. Coral's favorite quote is, adventure is waiting around every corner. That's pretty deep, Coral. You're a deep person. Anyway, these are super yummy, and I can just, I cannot get enough of these, so... You better get some now because I'm probably going to buy them all, just saying. And the next thing I've been loving are the Kraft Jet Puffed, Jet, Jet, Jet Puffed, sorry about that, Marshmallow Bits. So they're basically just like little mini marshmallows. I don't know, maybe I can get one out for you guys. You can probably barely see this. It's like itty bitty. So what I do is whenever I make hot chocolate, I literally just pour a bunch into my hot chocolate. And it's like half hot chocolate, half mini marshmallows. It's the best thing ever. It's kind of like the Lucky Charm marshmallows. Like the marshmallows you get in Lucky Charms. That's like this. It's amazing. Now, I'm sure you guys know by now that I love beanies for the colder months. My favorite beanie recently has been this bad boy. It's my little pony beanie that I got from H&M. So I've been wearing this to keep my head warm. Obviously not with this outfit because it doesn't really look right. But I've been wearing this beanie a lot along with my fox beanie, which I love as well. Next favorite for the month of October is something that kind of goes along with the Christmas theme in my room, which I know it's a little early, but I've just been loving this while I've been decorating for Christmas. Scent Sickles from Target. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I'm going to open it up so I can show you guys what they look like. So basically, they're just green sticks and you can hang them on your tree or just like set them around your room like I do. And they smell literally like a Christmas tree. Like I feel like I'm at a Christmas tree farm right now, but I'm not. I'm in my bedroom and it smells like Christmas trees in here. So I love these to death. They're perfect if you don't like to get real Christmas trees. You get fake ones like I do. You can just put these all around your room and then people walk in and they're just like, bam, kicked in the throat by Christmas tree scent. I don't know if that's a good thing. I think it's a good thing because I love the smell of Christmas trees. So been loving these. And another item that I've been getting into, to tell you guys the truth, I may or may not have started buying these about a month ago. White peppermint mochas from Starbucks. Oops. I don't really care because these are amazing. I could drink white peppermint mochas all year long because they are delicious. 
and I'm not gonna stop. We can't stop. And yeah, so those are all of my favorite, like item object favorites. Now we have music favorites, so I got my phone right here. So my first favorite song has been Story of My Life by One Direction. My little heart just could not take that song when I first listened to it, and I still can't take it. It makes me die of feels, so yeah. has been my jam recently. I just think it's kind of different from anything the boys have done so far. It's like very deep and very emotional and amazing. It's just, I love that. So I've been listening to Story of My Life a bunch recently. I've also been listening to a bunch of Lord songs because Lord is absolutely amazing. My favorite song from her right now would probably be Tennis Court. If you've not heard it, I will have a link to it below so you can listen to it. And can we please, please talk about Katy Perry's new album. Oh my gosh, it is perfection. I just ah, can't handle it. So my favorite song from Katy Perry's new album right now is Double Rainbow. I love that song. All the songs are amazing though and I've been listening to the whole album on repeat, but Double Rainbow is by far my favorite song off of Katy's new album. So I'll have a link to all my favorite songs this month down below so you can go listen to them. Also, I want to know what you guys thought about Ravenswood and the Halloween episode of Pretty Little Liars because I watched it in my bedroom at night alone in the dark and I just about had a heart attack. And Ravenswood is really creeping me out. Like, who is that creepy woman? Like, what does she want with them? I don't, I don't, I don't know. And in this video, I'm going to be giving away two of my faves this month. So I decided to give away the Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation just because I know this is a super pricey product. And I'm also going to give away my favorite makeup wipes this month. Obviously, the winner is going to get two new products. And whoever wins, you'll have to email me with what shade you are in the foundation. So if you would like to win these goodies, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling me some of your favorite items for the month of October. And I also want to know what you guys were for Halloween, so you can leave both both of those comments below or just one below, however many you would like to, and then I'm going to pick one random person in the comments to win some of my favorites. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed my October favorites. I love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Jephef, 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 what does the fox say? <gasps> Not going to do it, sorry. I just drank something really gooey. Let's hope it was just like a chunk of coffee or something. Sometimes I think maybe I shouldn't decorate so early for Christmas, but then I think about it and I'm like, mmm, better not. Okay. Ew! I just drank another gooey thing. Okay, I'm settling this right now. <sighs> That's what I thought. It's just like little pieces of chocolate. Hey guys! So today I'm doing my March Bay. So March is now over, April is now here, and it's springtime now, and I just said now like a bunch of times, and there's a bird that won't shut up. So I want you guys to go ahead and film your March favorites video of your favorite things for March. So you can leave that as a video response below, or you can also just leave comments because you guys may not think so, but I really love to read all of your comments, and you guys have helped me so much. I've discovered like clothing stores and just all these kinds of new brands and everything through your guys' comments because you guys have really good taste, so I always discover new things through you guys. So if you have one favorite thing for March or a lot of favorite things for March, you can leave that in a comment also. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my March favorites. Okay, so I'm going to start off with makeup products. So the first thing that I've been using so much in the month of March is this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. And I actually purchased this at Target like a really long time ago. It was like last year that I bought this. And I never used to use it that much until recently. I've just been reaching for this all the time. And I've been creating a lot of eyeshadow looks with this. So this is what it looks like. And it basically just has all of the these neutral eyeshadow colors that are very pigmented. I think it was like $5, like no joke, this was a $5 palette. My favorite colors right now are probably this champagne one right here and then this light brown one right here. I actually have both of those on my eyelids today. So this product is amazing and I definitely recommend checking that out. 
Alright, and my next favorite is a blush, and this is by MAC, and it is in the shade Peachy Keen. And I'm pretty sure I showed this in a lot of my recent videos, but this is my favorite spring blush right now. So it looks like this. It's just a very nice, pretty peach color, but it's so unique to me. Like, I have a lot of blushes, but I don't have one like this until now. Like, now I have it, but I didn't have one before. And it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but not too much, which I like because it doesn't look like, oh, I just dumped glitter all over my face. It's a little bit more subtle than that. So I really love it, though. I think it's super pretty and if you're looking for an essential blush color for spring definitely check out peachy keen by mac because it is awesome and i've also really been loving benetton and if you don't know what benetton is it's basically just like a lip and cheek stain and so you can put it on your lips and your cheeks and it stays on for a super long time which is perfect for spring and summer but it is like a little messy i don't know if you guys can tell but it's like all over my fingers right now but that's just because i'm kind of bad at applying it but it's really not that that messy it just has like this little kind of nail polish applicator so you can just dot it onto your lips and your cheeks. And it looks very natural, which I really like. And also it smells like super good. And also with summer coming up, I've been really interested into lots of different like bronzers because I don't really like tan in like a tanning bed or anything like that. So this one is by Murad and it is just the absolute bronzing boost with SPF 15. So this is just like a very small size of it, but it has this little pump. And basically all you do is you just squirt your desired amount out and then you just blend this onto your like face and neck and everything like that. And it basically just gives your skin a little bit of a bronze. So it's kind of like a cream slash liquid bronzer. So I don't know if you could see the difference between my two hands, but this one has the bronzer and this one doesn't. So I really just have been using this a lot lately when I want my skin to look more tan and I don't have that much time. You just blend this all over and it's not really blotchy. It's not orange. It's very natural looking and it has SPF. Okay, and as for lip products, the first First thing that I have been using a lot is the Rosebud Salve and I actually got this at Sephora and let me just tell you guys right now it is amazing. It is like the bomb.com. I think it was like $8 at Sephora in like the little, you know, like when you're going to pay and you walk through the aisle and they have like all these little like baskets of little things. That is where I got this and I really have been using it so much as you can tell like I put a little dent in it there. So this is just a very moisturizing lip balm that I like to put on my lips throughout the day and it smells like rose water. So yummy. And my lips have been getting very chapped lately. I have no idea why. They just want to get super chapped. So I've been putting this on daily. And then also I have another lip product that I've been using to keep my lips moisturized. It is the Perlis Lisse. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. But it is the Lip Comfort Lip Moisturizer. And this is what I put on kind of like every night. I don't really put this on throughout the day. This one I put on like throughout the day. I like put it in my purse and I constantly reapply it. But this one kind of is a little bit more effective for me. So I just put it on like at nighttime or in the morning. And it makes my lips so soft. Both of these together are like my little like really smooth lip army. They're like brother and sister. I love them. Alright and next is this Revlon lipstick in the shade Peach. So this is what it looks like and it kind of matches my blush from MAC. Oh my gosh. But I just think that this color is very pretty for the springtime and I think it works well with all skin tones and I just love the color of it. I don't know why. It's just so pretty. So I definitely have been wearing this one a lot lately and also the formula is very smooth and moisturizing which I like because sometimes I feel that I have to apply lip balm like right before lipstick because some are just very drying but this one you don't really have to apply lip balm before it because it's very moisturizing so been loving that lip product okay and then I have two nail polishes and I cannot wait to show them to you guys because I have been loving them all throughout March and I've just been wanting to tell you guys about them but I was like I'm just gonna wait for March favorites so the first one I'm wearing right now and it is by Essie it's in the shade Tarte Deco which I probably mentioned this one before because I purchased it a few months ago but I just started wearing it recently so it's just a very pretty kind of like a light orangey color it kind of reminds me of like orange soda or like not orange soda what are those things called the orange sickles it's basically that they have like those orange popsicles and then inside it's filled with vanilla ice cream that's what this reminds me of like a cream sickle <gasps> I love it it's so pretty and then also the next one is another Essie polish but this is kind of very interesting to me it is a glitter polish but it is multi-dimension top coat it's in the shade as gold as it gets and the cool thing about this is the glitter particles in this polish are not just one size it's kind of like all different sizes I've never been into like glitter top coats and putting them over nail polish But this one is a total exception literally every single nail polish color that I've been wearing I would put a little bit of this over it just to see how it looks and it looks so cool All right, so I have two more favorite beauty products So this one is the Mac mineralized charged water So I was at the Mac counter a little bit ago with my sister because she was shopping for some makeup And so the Mac lady there was like doing her makeup and after she did it She sprayed this all over her skin and I looked at her skin and it looked flawless it looked so 
so flawless but still natural it was just very glowy and so stunning and I was like oh my gosh what did you use on her like I still want to get that and this is what she used on her and literally you guys this stuff is amazing I like to apply it right after I do all of my makeup and it smells amazing like oh my goodness I love spraying this on my face because I smell like how amazing it smells. I never really thought that the charged waters or any of the like Fix Plus sprays or anything would be that great, but this one is amazing and I definitely recommend checking it out. All right, and my last favorite beauty product for March is a hair product and it is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Liquid Shine Shine Shock Perfecting Glosser. It illuminates and polishes. That was a lot. So it looks like this. It just comes in a little tube. And you can also get this in different hair colors. I think they have one for like um, blonde hair, red hair, and then I think the brunette one. They might have another one, but I'm pretty sure it's just those three hair colors. After I wash and condition my hair, I just kind of smooth this through my hair completely from the root to the tip. I don't put that much. I just put like kind of a pea size amount, not that much. It's just supposed to enhance your natural hair color and also just give it a lot of shine and just make it look very glossy and nice so I was kind of scared to use this at first but it has helped me so much I really love the results that it gives my hair and I totally recommend it and I've never dyed my hair before so I always am looking for new products to kind of enhance my natural hair color since I never get it dyed I always stay with my natural color so I really love this and this smells really good too like what's up with all this stuff smelling good I can't explain what it smells like but it's like this addicting scent that is so good all right so now it is time for my non-beauty favorites so the first one is floppy hats because it is springtime and floppy hats are finally back and I'm super excited for that so this one I think I just got this at forever 21 so I really love floppy hats for spring and summer because they're just a nice way to keep the Sun out of your eyes and protect your skin and they're super cute and fashionable too so I really love floppy hat and my next favorite are these sandals which are amazing I got these at American Eagle a while ago I think it was a few weeks ago and I have been wearing these so much with all of my outfits lately because I think they're so adorable and I am a sandals fanatic I have so many different pairs but I really love these because they're just white and they have all of this pretty detailing and they're super comfortable. I don't know if you could tell, but they have this padding that is so comfy when you walk. So I've been wearing these ones a lot lately. Okay, and the next favorite is these rings and I am so in love with these rings I got these from ASOS.com I'll have a link below if I could find it online because I did order online but it was kind of a while ago but basically they are these really cute little bunny ear rings I'm wearing one right now I'm wearing the gold one and it also came with a pink one and a white one and I just think that these are the cutest things ever and I'm gonna try to not lose these because I'm so bad at losing rings so I'm gonna try to not lose these ones because these are like the best rings that I've ever owned. So I love those. Okay, so I have a food favorite right here that I'm gonna show you guys. It is pita bites. I really love pita bites, pita chips, pita whatever. I like pita from Hunger Games. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> They're just naturally baked pita crackers and they have original sea salt. So lately I have been eating these when I'm kind of hungry in between the day and I want a healthy snack. I'll have some of these with some hummus and I just like the original hummus and it tastes so good. It's definitely a good substitution for like chips and dip because normally I would have like ruffles and sour cream. So pita chips and hummus is definitely a lot better and it's actually more yummy to me. All right, and you guys know that I cannot do a favorites video without saying my favorite song of the month. So of course I have my phone right here I got a new case it's Sephora so I have been listening to so much One Direction in March because I really love them and I just think they're amazing so my favorite song by One Direction right now is probably that's so hard it changes constantly but at the moment it's probably tell me a lie okay and this is probably kind of weird but I've also been loving beautiful soul by Jesse McCartney I know that is such an old song and you guys are probably like what the heck but I really love this song I kind of just rediscovered it like a week ago and I've been listening to it so much I loved it when it came out like forever ago and I just love this song so I've been listening to that one a lot I will have links to both of my favorite songs this month below so you guys can go check them out listen to them and rock out to them because I think they're amazing but I want to know your favorite song so leave that in a comment below all right so I I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video and I will talk to you later because it just started raining right now like can you see this right now you probably cannot okay I love you guys so much you're beautiful and that's what makes you no I'm kidding okay I will talk to you guys later bye really what Okay. And it has a little bit of shim. Um, there's a big old truck. It's for spring and summer.